This is my second day in Paris. If you didn't see the first day, you can find it on my channel. After waking up, I wanted to take a typical Parisian's breakfast, and I did, nearby the hostel. However, funny fact, the pastry shop was Portuguese, just like me. Anyway, after having breakfast and traveling by metro from Gentil to Havers, I started by visiting the Sacre Coeur, and there is a why I started from there. If you look in the map, you can see that Sacre Coeur and the Palace du Tertre are in a high point of the city, and because of that, you can get tired walking up there. So, doing it first in the morning is the best choice, and after all the hard walking, I can appreciate the beautiful view over Paris. Besides this place and the business district, you can walk everywhere, so I'm going to do that. Walk. For me, walking is the best way to know a city, because eventually you will pass by places where you're not intent to pass by. But you end up finding interesting places or things to do or see. As you can see today, I'm only carrying the 10 liters backpack that I talked about in the previous video. This one is enough to carry some snacks, a water bottle and my camera gear. The Place du Tetre is one of the most visited places. At the beginning of the 20th century, many painters, including Pablo Picasso and Maurice Utrillo, were living there. Nowadays, it's full of great street artists and painters that you can appreciate by walking around the plaza or from your restaurant table while you're having lunch. The next place I visited after passing by the Moulin Rouge was the Louvre Museum that I unfortunately didn't visit inside but the place is equally beautiful from outside. Even with the pandemic in place, the two times I went there, both times I had an enormous queue to enter inside. Next to the Louvre, you can visit the Tuileries Garden, a beautiful place to sit and appreciate the nature and the ducks by the lake, just in the middle of the city. This place is the business district, and this huge arch is the Arch de la Défense. The one I spoke about in the previous video saying that is perfectly aligned with the famous Triumphal Arch. However, they are 5 kilometers apart. To get here, the best way is to get on the metro because it's far away from the city center and the station it's called La Defense. This district has a big mall and is full of skyscrapers surrounding the big plaza that goes from the arch up to the Seine River. So, if you like huge buildings, you can't miss this place in Paris.
fantastic city that I enjoyed very much. Has beautiful architecture, great museums, gorgeous monuments and lots of life everywhere. I felt safe all the time and I hope to come back soon.